Howdy folks, we recently went on Route 66 and revisited a section where last time it was, uh, it was kind of dark, it was kind of rainy, and we were trying to get to our destination. Well, this time we decided to take our time through the area from Stroud to Oklahoma City and see what we didn't see because it was dark and it was rainy and we couldn't see. Well, this one thing specifically we definitely wouldn't have seen at night. It's called the John Hargrove Museum. What's well, not called that? I'm, let me go to our handy dandy easy guide uh, that, that uh, Jerry McConaughey wrote from Chandler, Oklahoma. And what he says about this, and he says, two miles east of Arcadia, watch for John Hargrove's fantastic Oklahoma uh, County 66 Auto Trim and Mini Museum. It also says it has things like the big uh, blue whale twin arrows, so much more to see. Well, trust me, there is so much more to see at this site. Thankfully, the gates were open. The book says here, if the gates are open, come on in. So we went in. There was a, a little loop that went around that I don't know whether we should have or not, but you will see in the video that you're gonna see here, us going around that loop. We parked at the bottom of the hill and there were so many little things to look at and see from all over Route 66. There were so many tributes to differing parts and sections. Uh, there's just too many to speak of, but Mr. Uh, Hargrove himself, we got to speak to him and a cool, interesting man, no doubt about it. He was building a car in his garage and we were building one as well, a 27 Model T Roadster. So as we're looking at what he was doing and what he had in his museum, we were asking a lot of questions about, what are you doing here? We led us throughout his entire garage area. He even went back to his house, one of the areas there, picked up a book, came back and showed it to us and said, hey, you need to read this book it will help you in doing what you're doing. He then took us from his garage to a middle section to a back section where there was essentially a museum made to look like maybe an old diner and some things and casings. We got to go upstairs. There were some interesting things there. All in all, if this place is open and you're on Route 66, please stop an interesting stop, an interesting person you'll get to talk to. We very much appreciate him talking to us and showing us around. So that's what you're gonna be seeing in this video, is just us walking around. There's gonna be some areas where we have to put in some music. I wish I could have the conversation going the entire time with him, but uh, some of the music he had playing in the background would be a, a copyright issue. But sit back, relax, and enjoy as we walk around John Hargrove's Route 66 Museum. How's that?
something you, you need there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got up there. Oh. We stopped at a little bowling alley and yeah, never had been in there and it was like, I haven't been in there yet. So. It, it, I asked the guy, I said, is this just a collection gone too far or what? Because there's just so many signs. Deal in it. That's a good way, good to, way to go about it. <laughs>
Well, so did you look in the other room? Did you see the humping camel in the next one? I, I zeroed in on it. You said it was a trucking company that had that on every one of Yeah. I'm all flexible. I guess when we saw whatever the rabbit branch or one of them there had that big. Yeah, the real rabbit. Yeah, we went to the. I guess we went to both of them. We, we've been to, to both of them. <laughs> That's cool. That's a turbo 350. Oh, this wow. is a turbo 400. <laughs> 